So Jesse, that was pretty incredible. How did you uh, how did you find that? Um, I'm quite lost for words, to be honest. I think my aim going into this race was just to hang on for dear life. So then when I got to the break first, I was like, what is going on? So I just kind of, the crowd went, and then I just went along with it, but I'm over the moon. So quite emotional, to be honest, because I've worked so hard, and it's all paying off. How much does the crowd want to be today? Obviously, they've been really, um, really loud. That, like, to be honest, because they wouldn't know me at all, but I think the minute they heard us from Great Britain, it, when I got the break, I just heard it go. So I was like waiting to feel like Sveti come on my shoulder, and I was like, where are they? But I literally just switched off and ran as fast as I could. So I'm absolutely in shock. <laughs> How does that um, result give you more belief than going into the rest of the season? Um, most definitely. Like, our aim to come into indoors was to do a decent 400 to try and make a relay squad for our dogs, I'm a four hurdler. Um, so it was like, let's do a few races, see where we're at, see if we need to improve anything. And we aimed for a 52, which I did last week. I never dreamed I could run those times. I used to be at home watching this on the sofa and I've just beaten like world finalists. So I'm in, in complete shock, but I feel over the moon. I just want to say thank you to my coach, me, my training group and all my family. So I still live at home and have all my meals cooked for me and I get looked after. So I've got a lovely support network that just keeps me going. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice one.